Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Evelyn. So it's time to finally start decorating for Christmas. It's November 1st, so our Christmas tree is going to go up. And I'm very excited because I did get a new Christmas tree this year. So I'm very excited to share that with you guys. So in today's video, we are going to be decorating our entryway, which is one of my favorite spots in our house. It's just so beautiful. And I did add something to it that added that perfect touch. So I'm very excited for you guys to see. So we'll be decorating that and then we'll also be putting up the christmas tree today i'm not going to be decorating it just yet i do want to figure out what i'm going to be doing first and then i'll share it with you guys in another video so i hope you guys get lots of inspiration on how you can decorate your homes for christmas anyways if you want to see how i'm going to be decorating for christmas then just keep on watching Starting off with the entryway, I was very excited to decorate this hallway nook that we have so I added a bar stool that I thrifted and I DIY'd. I also wanted to change up the artwork in here so I decided to download some prints from Etsy and then I had them printed at CVS. And to make them look a little bit more realistic and matte, I added some Mod Podge so it's an easy hack if you want that realistic looking painting. Once it was dry, I added them to the frames. This brown frame is from Target and then the other gold frame is from Amazon that I actually DIY'd. I added some antique wax to make it look a little bit more vintage. So if you do want to see how I did that, I will have the video linked down below for you. I knew I wanted to add a Christmas tree to this stool, so I had this old one that I got from the Studio McGee collection last year, but I didn't like the pot that I came in, so I took it out. I did shave off some of the styrofoam, and then I stuck it into this pot that I got from McGee & Co. It definitely elevates the look and makes it look a lot more designer, so I love how it turned out, and I did want to add that magical touch, so I got these fairy lights from Target last year in their dollar section. I believe they have some in their window shop line so i will have a similar ones linked down below for you next to the stool i wanted to add some wood so i'm using this old basket that i've had from the studio mcgee collection i believe they released it years ago and i don't think it's available anymore unfortunately but you can use any basket i added these birch logs that i got from target last year and they do have them again this year i also added this blanket and this juniper stem that are also from target and i decided that i wanted to add some bells but I only wanted two bells so I'm using this garland that I made last year and I'm hiding one of the bells and then I also decided to add a bow so I'm using this velvet ribbon that I picked up from Amazon this year. I decided to add some sconces to my entryway so if you've been following me for a while then you know I have four frames on one of the walls in my entryway. Now the frames are from Michaels. I was looking everywhere for frames for the longest time and then I finally found some very affordable ones from Michaels. I believe they're only $15 so I do have four of them and I didn't have anything beside them for a while but I knew I did want some sconces next to them and then I finally found these beautiful ones from Amazon and I wanted to decorate them for Christmas so I had these cedar stems from the hearth and hand line last year and I believe they're only six dollars 
they do have them again this year and i cut off just the end part so that it looked more like a swag and then i just hung them over the sconces i added this really cute rustic bell from amazon and then i did add some ribbon that i got from amazon as well I have gotten questions on how I tie my bows so I wanted to quickly show you how I tie them. I'm not sure how to explain it but I'm hoping you guys seeing me do it helps you guys in creating those really cute bows. So I did the exact same thing on the other side and then for the ends I did cut off the tip and made them more slanted. Moving on to my entryway table, I placed this lamp that I DIY'd a while ago. I will have the video linked down below for you if you are interested. And I decided to switch out the artwork in this frame that I got from Target. Now it is a canvas so I can't take out the artwork but I was inspired by Jenna who is also here on YouTube, Jenna's home. She placed the artwork over the canvas and I was so inspired to do the same so I added one of the prints that I got from Etsy and I placed it right next to the the lamp and then I added some coffee table books as well as this candle that I got from Target and then some pine cones right next to that. On the other side, I placed this vase that I got from Home Goods, but they do sell a similar one at Hobby Lobby. And I added some cedar stems from the Hearth and Hand line. These are the longer stems. Right next to that, I placed two coffee table books, but this time standing up. I love doing this with my books. It adds some visual interest and it also takes up some space. So next to the books, I placed these reindeers that I got from Pottery Barn. They are my absolute favorite. They are so pretty and so worth the price and then on the mirror i did want to add a bow so i added a command hook and then i used that same velvet ribbon from amazon This year, I also decided that I wanted to add some garland to my entryway table, so I'm using three clear command hooks on my table to hold up the garland, and I'm using the beautiful garland from Walmart. This garland is a must. It drapes so beautifully. Unfortunately, I think it is sold out, but I'm hoping it comes back in stock, or maybe you can find it in store. So I added that garland, and then on one of the ottomans, I decided to add my favorite throw blanket from Amazon. I'm so incredibly happy with how this entryway turned out and I can't wait for you guys to see.
So this year I did get a new Christmas tree and King of Christmas was so kind enough to send me one of their Christmas trees. I did get the 8 foot alpine fir artificial Christmas tree and it does come pre-lit which is such a lifesaver. Unfortunately my tree collar that I got from Walmart did not fit so I either have to get a new tree base or maybe just leave it open and kind of hide the opening in the back so I'll see what I end up doing but this tree is so beautiful and they do provide some gloves so that you can fluff it up and you don't get any cuts because we all know how rough these stems can be so i was so happy that they provided the gloves so i took my time fluffing it up and making it look very full and you guys will see at the end how beautiful this tree is One of my favorite parts of this tree was that the lights automatically turned on whenever you connected a piece. It also comes with a remote that has different settings so you can have the lights twinkling, flashing, whatever you like and they also have a timer and a dimmable feature so such a beautiful tree. I'm obsessed and so was my daughter. She was so happy to see the tree up. All right, you guys, that concludes the very first Christmas Decorate With Me. There are many more to come, so make sure you're subscribed so that you don't miss out on any of those videos. I hope you got lots of inspiration on how you can decorate for Christmas, and I can't wait to share how I decorate the rest of my home. I'll try to have everything that I used linked down below for you guys. Also, let me know down below, when do you start decorating for Christmas? I feel like there's people that decorate before Thanksgiving, then after Thanksgiving, and then there's people that decorate on December 1st. So I'm very curious to know when you start decorating for Christmas. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye.